Helen, could you outline the kind of activity that's been going on in Nepal? Of course. Nepal is currently being managed by our Emerging Asia team based in Singapore. Over the last year, we've been meeting with the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nepal to discuss matters of mutual cooperation and recognition in Nepal. We're considering exemptions for ICANN members who wish to gain the ACCA qualification and we are in the process of formally agreeing the exemptions for Nepal ACCA members so they may obtain ICANN membership. As members may well appreciate, the discussions have been delicate and have been ongoing over the course of the last year. We're looking initially to formalise relationships with ICANN through an MOU which will also give clear directions towards recognition for ACCA members in the market. There have also been some statutory changes in Nepal with regards to practical experience and training which have impacted on our negotiations with ICANN as well as the wider profession. We've already agreed that we will consider hosting a number of research and insight conferences jointly with ICANN in order to show our commitment to the development of the profession in that market. We have been working closely with employers too. For example, we will be presenting Standard Chartered in Nepal with an improved employer status later this year. We're also working with the British Chambers of Commerce and Industry in Nepal towards an MOU to build greater employer recognition and awareness in the country. This year, in addition to the existing support from the Emerging Asia team, we've planned for more dedicated in-market support and resources to help support our delivery to members. This dedicated in-market resource and support should also aid us with the discussions and negotiations with ICANN and other relevant statutory bodies in Nepal.